Do not worry, there is English. However, I thought this was a great example of how you can learn so much from gaming that you kind of don't even need it to be. So let's have a look at our screen. We have our title, Yog Safof's Yord. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Followed by what is almost undoubtedly new game, option, and quit. And I'm betting money here. And there we have it straight away into our options. Pop it onto English. Done. So just a heads up, if you are going to give this game a try, you will need to do that, but I think it perfectly demonstrates that I have just played way too many games. <laughs> ah. Hello everyone, Future Bear here, and I just wanted to make a quick few notes for everyone about the intro to this game. Now everything you can see behind you is a super sped through version of what you would be reading through if you went and played this game properly. It took me, and I kid you not, an hour and 10 minutes to get through the entire thing, though I won't deny I did take a fermented vegetable break. I've literally never understood how I have the attention span to write a story, just cannot dedicate myself to reading them. But suffice to say, the intro is very long, but also majority of the information is going to be restated once we actually start playing the game. On top of this, and I do have to give a little bit of a review here, this is not a concise script. This is a lot of words that really don't need to be there. But I do wonder if this is more to do with a translation and cultural considerations because, well, there are quite a few spelling errors and some of the word choices are a little strange, but mostly sometimes things just straight up do not make sense. It's not been enough to completely ruin the experience, but it was enough to catch me up every now and then. Suffice to say, if a few spelling errors and some questionable prose is something that would just completely ruin the experience for you, consider this your first exit. But for those of you who want to engage in a little bit of hotel management, alongside a dating sim which I really should have seen coming, then let's go ahead and pick up the game from the monumentous hour and a bit later. As if the colourful bubble shattered and disappeared, the golden glow dissipated and the reality emerged from the darkness. This is an empty hole. Once gorgeous walls only have grey relief. Ground is full of dead leaves in the centre of the hole is a dead tree. The wind blows in from the door, bringing a whimpering sound. That gorgeous Lux are all illusions? Isn't it just? What are you going to do with this place? Again, not for sale. Well, I'm really short of money now. A few years ago, because of my special interest in meteorites, I became a free meteorite hunter. Track meteorites everywhere. Money I saved in school was basically all spent. This year, it seems that the employment environment is very bad, and students like me can't find any decent jobs at all. I want to convert this building into a hotel. And earn some money first. A hotel? A place like this? What's the problem? Be careful in choosing your customers. Well, I'll take my leave. Please contact HOBA for any follow-up questions. Bye. Oh, that girl. I rushed back to what was originally the stage. Although the stage is gone, that huge container is still there. All the changes in the outside world do not affect the sleeping girl. She remains motionless, those tentacles are breathing, like together and undulating instead of her. It's not as bad as it sounds. An operation panel here? Well, I'll try if I can wake her up. Try if I can wake her up, okay. Go Gandalf style. Wake up the girl in the box. To catch you all up on the story, it's an immortal human that the professor created from whom we inherited this building. And it was the final lot of the auction which took me over an hour to get through. I tried to click the button. And crash back to Windows. <laughs> With a continuous metal clash-like sound, those tentacles that previously twisted surprisingly contract and curl up in an orderly manner, stacking up to the bottom of the container. And the young girl, in a near suspended state, stands upright in the container. She has some structural parts at her major joints, and her flawless looking skin carries some inorganic shimmer. Is this artificial skin? Looking directly at her whole body, I unknowingly feel some blush. No, gazing at inanimate objects won't make me blush. It makes my heart beat faster for a moment, 
so she has opened her eyes in front of me. All the tentacles fell to the bottom. Please give the order, Master. I will achieve everything for you. Holy crap, it's Rem. The cornflower blue, same color as the clearest sky. Cornflower is blue? I didn't know that. Huh, let's be new every day. These eyes are gazing at me with full attention. Please give the order, Master. I will achieve everything for you. No one has ever gazed at me with such full attention. She's waiting? Waiting for my command? Mm. Hello, for the first time. Should I find her some clothes? Can you leave this container? Do you mean this incubator? Got it. Get out of the incubator immediately. I just notice an opening behind the incubator like a door. She turns around and leaves the incubator through that opening, then immediately stands in front of me again. Ah, uh, that. Let's get some clothes first. Now, I just can't hold on anymore. I have to take a break. <laughs> what the hell? Exhaustion surges through my body. Running in cat like form all night, I feel like I can fall asleep at any time. Oh, yeah, we're also a cat that at sunrise turns into a human. Don't ask questions. It makes as much sense as you think. Is it to find a place to rest? Understood. Cleaning up for you right away. Uh, not really. The master is very tired and needs to rest. This is the most important task at the moment. I understand all of my master's intentions. What exactly did the professor leave for me? There I am! Oh, I've disappeared. And the game finally begins! Forests. Suburbia. Mountain-sized. A weird cat with weird eyes. And the unlucky me. The Cat King. So the contract was made. The so-called contract. Speaking of which, I was in a hurry to get to the mountains to inherit my inheritance. <laughs> I don't know why I love that line so much. To inherit my inheritance, I was suddenly attacked by a strange woman on the way. I jumped into the river to escape the attack, but I was saved by a cat. Then, it is now. Aww, I'm so cute. Repeatedly confirmed that I also became a cat. Well, just the number of eyes seems a little wrong. Hey, whatever. In order to save my life, First of all, is signing a contract with a strange cat who calls himself the Cat King. Hey, oh, that's a big old paw. <laughs> it's a paw five, or paw three. There we go. Wait, what? What are we doing? Hey, show some respect. I I don't know what happened. Anyway, I I don't want another cat's paw on top of mine. I can't help it, Uncle. Oh, okay, yeah, un Uncle's Elder. Remember the damage you're taking is from the shadow power of the alien beast. And to prevent your sanity from breaking down, you can only take the form of an elf. Cat. Every midnight, you will take this form for about eight hours. It will return to human form at about sunrise. About a total of 24 years, you will be able to return to full human form. Why? So long? There's no faster way. Unless... Is there another way? Unless you come with me and maintain this form 24 hours a day. Then in about 8 years, I'll be back to human form. You're abducting young cats? Exploding hair. Who abducts young cats? Then you do well. Do you still want to go to the foot of the mountain you were talking about? Yeah, I'm going to receive my inheritance. And now I'm not only poor, but I owe a buttload of loans. Student loans. It made that very clear. Oh. There was once a rich guy built a luxury villa. But then it seems to have fallen into disrepair. 
Also, the decent people won't come to this kind of place to build a villa. There's no one of your kind over there at all. Just all kinds of, well, creatures like me are out there. Oh, meow, meow, meow. I want to earn money to live with that villa. Want to earn money with that villa? What a strange idea. Then you need to be ready to entertain my kind. Got it. If you can't hold on, hey, come back to me. We'll talk about it then. I don't want to be a cat all the time yet. I've got to say, you could actually cut the entire intro visual novel out and start right from there, and you're up to speed. You get what's going on. We're in, we're deep in debt. We've been found and saved by a cat king, and now we are going to our villa and we're going to rent it out and earn some money. Simple. The deserted yard is waiting for your arrival. With your talent, the place will soon look brand new. What? Too much pressure? It doesn't matter if you can't do it. After all, ruins are the ultimate destiny of all buildings. If you feel too tired, just take a nap first. In dreams, you might see the radiant sight of this place in its heyday. Does this yard and this building belong to me now? It's like a dream. However, the building does seem to be in disrepair and the overall repair work is too big. How about cleaning and renting it out room by room? Holy crap, it really is Rem. Or is it Ram? Ram's red, Rem's blue. Hey, I haven't read those in a while. I should really go back. I just read the mangas, okay? <laughs> I read the mangas, okay? It's in black and white. Master, cleaning such things I can perform. Please give the order. Hmm? She appears in front of me, wearing... I've never seen before. Maid dress? So cute! It fits! She still looks at me seriously and waits for my orders. Where did you get this suit? Uniform. Well, I found the fabric from the attic and made it for myself. Why did you make it in this style? Considering that the job is cleaning, I conducted a search for information and found that on the internet for cleaning work, it is recommended to wear this type of clothing. Oh, honey, you got the wrong hub. What strange website are you looking at? What's wrong? Master, is this suit not good? Excellent. Vastly superior word. Oh, what does that say? Does that say Lucky Leaf? I think their name just came up. You're already tired from cleaning the hole just now, right? Leave the next job to me. No need. My body won't feel tired. I will recharge myself while hit the limit. I will recharge myself if I hit the limit, I'm thinking. So at the start, of course, we saw this in a different language, and I'm just going to state the translation's not quite there. It all kind of makes sense, and you can definitely work with it, but yeah, little stuff like this does catch me up every now and then. Recharge? By the way, the cleaned out lobby can be used as a lobby on the first floor of the hotel, right? The area for the front desk and the rest area for the guests are readily available. Is the lobby on the first Oh, no, sorry, that was me. That was me. <laughs> I'm used to the English system where you have ground floor, then first floor, but yeah, first floor. Cool, I'm with you. Rock and roll. Can't take guests through uncleaned areas to enter into a clean lobby. Makes no sense. Congratulations on the first employee. Huzzah! Now you can direct the staff to carry out the construction of the hotel. Let's start by clearing out the front desk of the hotel. Front desk assumes the role of the general control center, and without it, you can't run the hotel properly. Task briefing. Received. Main task preparation. Prepare the room. Officially running a hotel. Task condition. Requires front desk room to be rank 1. Rewards 500 coins. Failure minus 2 sanity. We're going to go insane from running this. Lovely. There are many rooms available for construction in the hotel, and you can consume resources to unlock them. <laughs> Lots of runes. Unlock the room to unlock the relevant functions that the room has. Also, unlocking and upgrading rooms will increase the build of the hotel. The build. So is is that like our ranking system? Oh, these are very dapper. What's that? Dining area. 
simple, locked off, simple, and um, the honeymoon suite, I guess. Front desk, right in the center, unlock for free. Completed our task, huzzah. If it goes well, the hotel will open, earn money to pay off the loan. And I think about what can be done. Those non-human creatures, perhaps I can do business with them. Master, I have cleaned some of the rooms on the first floor and they are ready for use. So fast. Uh, by the way, what's your name? There is no such data in my memory bank. Um, memory bank? Is she really an artificial person made by the professor? Please give me a name. Huh? Please give me a name. The young girl in the maid's outfit issued this request. Those cornflower blue eyes were staring at me intently. And it's still better than sky blue. I feel like I should give her a name carefully. Glancing at a falling leaf out of the corner of my eye. Can I call you Little Leaf first? Well, is it to make it easier for, for us to address each other? Your name is very important. We'll make a careful decision later. I see. Use Little Leaf as the only name for now. <laughs> Relax. Don't be so serious. Then let's tidy up the room together. Our first member of staff, Little Leaf Ram. Master, everything is ready. Well, we're ready to open. Does Master want to run a hotel? Actually, I didn't think so at first. I just wanted to exchange it for money after I inherited it. But the terms and conditions of the can contract means I cannot sell the items in the building and the building itself. These are the constraints, so I can only use this building as a means of earning money. Master? Needs money? Well, the carefree student days are over. Over? Little Leaf's blue, clear, bright eyes stare at me with full attention. I don't know how to explain it all. In a smaller way, it's my desire to live well in this world. In a bigger way, it's the fact that the whole world works with rules so hard and hard to break. Well, because wanting to do something and surviving seems to be two dimension, two dimensional, two different things. So I want to make some money first to pay off debts and also to accumulate resources for the future to do what I like to do. But I'd hate to go for the step-by-step -step entry, go to work and make myself a screw in an involution system? Make myself a cog in an unevolving system. I think <laughs> that one has completely lost me. Human beings that become screws, that metal component? It's a metaphor. Well, this is the so-called alienation of reality to people. In that case, Little Leaf is the one who will not be alienated the most. Because she was born as an artificial human, she doesn't need to apologize for any flesh and blood turning into a metal component. Are we going literal? I don't quite understand these things that Master is talking about. I will learn these carefully in the future. For the moment, Master wants to run the hotel to make money. Then, that is my goal as well. I look at Little Leaf and I don't know what to say for a moment. Suddenly a small figure appears at the entrance of the hall. A guess so soon? From Hoshino! Dude, you look like something from Final Fantasy, that is awesome! What a wonder, what a mess! When reality sinks into dreamland, dead tree blossoms and bells toll in the silence of all things. You will regret not trading with me today. This tiny, well, non-human creature carrying a huge package looks like some kind of traveling vendor. So what, but what kind of vendor would come to this kind of trackless forest to do business? Well, that behind him, is that a tail? This fur color and shape. I remember a lot of treacherous business legends about raccoons. Raccoons?
raccoon or human being? So rude, Lee. I am Hoshino, a local merchant. Hand over your most valuable treasure and I will make you an offer, but you can't refuse. Try it? This little guy with the wicked smile looking around. Now this hotel looks a little humble, but this guy shows that shiny calculating eyes. I mean those. It seems that you want to open a hotel here. In that case, you need a startup fund. I can lend you some money. Woohoo. You know what? This is the kind of loan shark I can get behind. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. What do you want from me? The stone hangs around your neck. Nope. Yes, it's very precious. But it's not much use to you anyway, right? So why not give it to me? Well... This was a gift from the professor when I was a kid. I always thought it was a crystal stone. However, in yesterday's carnival, I did see the guards that were summoned disappear as soon as they touched this stone. Since the professor has hidden so many secrets, maybe this stone also possesses some ability that I don't know about. It seems no good to loan it like that. You mean sell it? I don't want to sell the stone casually. Collateral, it's collateral. You can redeem it for one and a half times the price. What? You don't want it? <laughs> one back and forth to earn a price difference, not a loss. Be over polite to someone means you have bad ideas. Be too courteous to others and you must ask for something. All right, give me a sec. I need to get my head around this. The first one makes sense. I do not understand that second, so I'm just gonna go with number one. Oh my god. The boss is so mean, Lee. Lee? Oh, is that their friend? I just want to have a chance to set up a stall in your courtyard. Deal. Wonderful. A fair deal. Well, I'll be ready to come and set up a stall in the courtyard after a while. It's all great items, Lee. Reasonable prices, Lee. I'm not called Lee. <laughs> I don't know who the hell that is. Do you accept other currencies? Leaves are not allowed. Let's talk about it later. Actually, we need some other things too. Feels like a crooked businessman. He can't really give me leaves. I have to double check the money he gave. Okay, now there's money. The hotel is ready to open. That was a quick change. Wait, what? Did we get hoodwinked or not? With the startup capital provided by Hoshino, the second floor has been repaired and is ready for construction. There are a lot of empty rooms on the second floor. Convert them into guest rooms and you can start receiving occupants and open for business. The time has come! Ruthless efficiency! As a hotel room for guests to stay is essential. What's this? Uh, task rewards. We get some wood. Got wood. And some coins. Sweet. Room 201 to be ranked 1. Click the switch. Button at the bottom right corner to change over to the next floor. Switch rooms. Guests can be accommodated and will be charged a daily room rate. Upgrading rooms increases the number of guests that can be accommodated in the room. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Increasing the amount of money charged to guests and multiplying the revenue. So we, we don't do singles. <laughs> we don't do singles, we only do couples and groups. Oh, now that is ruthless efficiency to the max. Why am I looking at a cat's ass? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Alright, let's unlock room 201. Isn't it wonderful? Is that all we can do in a day? Outside the door, there is suddenly the sound of a car horn. So this wilderness is actually a driving up? Um, okay. I wait for the guests at the door, but after a full quarter of an hour, a little fat man, only panting, carrying a bag, appears at the door. Does he park his car at the entrance of the courtyard? Such a little road to walk so long. <laughs> Welcome, good sir. 
Is there a new hotel? I want a room with a view of the mountains. Every room has a view of the mountains. Oh. Then give me a room with good internet speed. Each room has a similar internet speed. Dude, shut up and just give him a room. Boss, has anyone told you that you will talk to death when you chat? What? <laughs> I feel like all these like metaphors and colloquialisms and freaking idioms are being used that just make no sense. Um, cool. That's why I came here to run a hotel. No, we don't talk to death. That's why I'm running a hotel. Antisocial. Greatest hotel ever. Never mind, I've driven half a day. Check in. Little Leaf leads the man to the room. After a few steps, the man begins to head down to pull out the phone, looking around for a signal. Boss, you have a bad signal here. Well, we're up a freaking mountain. What the hell do you expect? I've got to enhance the signal reception. Think of a solution later. In the middle of nowhere, there's really no base station. So the signal is inevitably bad. How do you run a business, boss? Why do you keep calling me boss? I'm not in charge of you. You're a customer. I'm just starting out. I really don't know how to. The man goes upstairs with a tearful expression on his face. Oh no, we failed them. <gasps> Little leaf turn, Chibi! <laughs> what did that happen? Faster, as soon as that guest gets in the room, takes out a laptop and starts measuring the speed of the internet. Well, our internet speed is really not good. Ooh, it's sad, but nowadays that actually is an issue. Master, I made a signal amplifier with some old equipment and put it in the attic. Now we should have some enhanced signal for the whole hotel. Damn! Rem, get on it! I take out my phone and look at it. Originally there was only one signal bar. But now it's actually full. What a mediocre tech genius. <laughs> Why would you say mediocre? That's an insult. <laughs> what a tech genius little leaf is. Who told them to write that? <laughs> um, okay, I don't even know what that's going for. Awesome. It will be more convenient for the guests in the future. But master, the guest didn't come out of the room all day. He really doesn't seem to be interested in mountain scenery or anything, but simply came to the wilderness to surf the internet. Why? People have different pursuits. Maybe he was relaxed like that. I'm with Little Leaf. Why? You can do it at home. You go to the mountains for the mountains, people. Of course, upgrading the rooms will also consume AP. Ooh, we have AP. Beginning of each day, new guests will arrive at the hotel, while the previous day's guests will leave. The number of guests coming each day depends on the fame of the hotel, various other effects and bonuses. Click on the guests to see details. The higher the guests' credit rating, the better the money and items they carry. Ho oh, ho! Oh. oh, we're gonna steal it all. After a guest checks in, the room charge can be collected from the floor interface for the entire room. If the guest is not charged before the end of the night, the guest will escape charges! Wait, what? That should be automated! God damn it. <laughs> I'm confused. I guess we, we have to click. So it's telling us you need to click on it, otherwise the guests will something. But I'm guessing it means they just leave. Like they, they just, they walk out without a cost. Please note the room charge will not exceed the amount of money the guest is carrying. Money shows the room charge that guests need to pay. Green means they can afford it. Red means they can't afford it. If it turns out that you can't squeeze the guest for money, Think of ways to raise the room rate. At the daily checkout, guests are likely to leave their carry-ons behind. When they leave, so paying more attention to guests will yield unexpected results. Oh! We're stealing their stuff! <laughs> Management! <laughs> oh, I think I found a new game for it. Excellent! I will take your many monies. Alright, why is Ram in there? What am I doing? Branch task period requires room 201 to be ranked 2. Upgrade. Congratulations, you are now ranked 2. Task received. 
All rooms on the second floor need to be rank 1. Gain 5 grand. Oh, very nice. By consuming AP wood and stone can be collected in a fixed area on the outskirts of the yard. The collected resource can be confirmed in Operation Items. Nice. Wood and stone are needed. Items. How much do we have? We have, like, literally zero. Okay. Let's go out to the yard. Oh, look at that. It looks like the... Is it the keeper? Or the watcher? D&D. &D. Interesting. Let's go for... The forest and try and gain some wood. Oh, we just gain it. We just gain it. Sweet. We have no AP now. Cursed. No guests on the first floor, second floor. Thank you. Daily accounts. Sweet. AP and rest. Have you noticed the AP in the upper right corner of the information screen? Many actions consume AP. When an action is marked with AP, it means the action consumes AP. During the day, AP is zero. It will automatically rest into the next time period. At night, it is zero. It is and there is no non-auto room chargeable. It will automatically rest into the next time. <sighs> cool. I think I get that. So there's no automatic system. Right, we have... We have five wood. We have five stone. Five wood, five stone. Mighty. Hello, fair customers. Hope you're having a jolly good time. Right, let's start opening these up. And we're going to go 202. Excellent. Daily account request. Uh, sorry, guest gifts. Sulfur. Thank you, I think. <laughs> Who wants sulfur? There is a figure waiting peacefully and quietly at the front desk. On top of the human body, where the head should have been, is a pile of flowing foam. The soulless foam. Boss, one room. Okay. Any special requests? Nope. You know what? We cater to all. We hold nothing against anyone. Slightly confused if you'll need a bed. Little Leaf leads this strange guest upstairs. Whatever, it's a genuine guest. Just make money. Capitalism, ho! The room is nice. I've been wondering this world for decades with the truth through and through. And no one has been willing to welcome me the way you have. You are so kind. Oh, I don't mind if you pay more. <laughs> Capitalism, excellent. As a token of my appreciation, I will tell you the oracle of my lord. Uh, there's no need. Oh, these are good. Oracles, they're like cards, you can play them. We used them during the visual novel and it changes the rules of what's going on. So they used it to remove people from the auction, change the actual rules of the auction to be only one person allowed to bid. I wonder what we'll get from this. This guest suddenly howls a long, long sound. The space around him seems to distort. Hear me, King of Infinite Space, Planet Mover, Lord of Time, Lord of the Gate. We're okay, thank you. Please don't disturb the other guests. The strange guest silently drops his hands. You have hands? Really? Where do you keep them? Or rather, the part that should have been the head twists around and turns towards me. What a pity. I would like to deliver the oracle of my lord. What's the price? Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. He completely ignores me, shaking in place. Mental instability. Gradually, that body also turns into a pile of bubbles. Those streams of bubbles overflowed the entire hall. Damn! How am I going to clean this mess? More and more murmurings all around. These crazy things. 
If you don't accept the oracles, I have sacrificed myself to give you the power of divination. I didn't want this ability. You are so kind to me. I want to repay your kindness once a day. Divination. My lord and other great gods in the universe, mighty power will come. The bubble gurgles and dissipates. They said, Divination? I just want to run my business in peace. The Oracle, daily divination and listening to the Holy Voice. Get Oracle by Operation Divination. Get any Oracle through divination. In the vast universe comes the will of gods, and the Apostle of Gods has constructed the bridge for you. You can now perform Operation Divination. <laughs> Operation Divination for the nation. Towards the end of taxation. Divination can only be performed once a day, and will produce different results. Ye, hear the cards. If you are pious enough, you can listen to the oracle. It will bring various kinds of benefits to the ho- to the- say the holy hotel then. It can help the hotel to overcome difficulties in critical moments. We're gonna have some troubles ahead. Of course, those who gaze at the abyss will also be gazed at by the abyss. Each time you listen to the oracle, reduce the sanity. Keep approaching the abyss and be swallowed by it. We're already down to 97. Go on, let's get a little divination. Oh, we have to go to the... We have to go to Operation Divination. It's risky and fortune telling requires courtune. Court, courtune. Yes, that is now a thing. Silence. Select an oracle. Dragon's Jewelry. You can't take your eyes off his crown of gold, and an ominous aura lingers over the delicate and eerie gold item. Rooms of the hotel are filled with this artifact from the deep sea and the daily output. Nobility, noble guests appear at the door wearing a triple crown and then disappear, or higher credit guests appear at the hotel, or the gold dragon who looks surprisingly the same as the dragon's jewelry. Interesting. Out of the deep black waves emerges the lusters of gold and the man who acquires wealth is enveloped by shadows. Number of gold coins gained is increased by 2%. So we get a 2% increase, higher value guess, we can't make much from that right now. Rooms of the hotel are filled with this artifact from the deep sea and the daily output. Ominous aura lingers over the delicate and eerie gold item. I think I'm gonna try this. I wanna see what the dragon's jewelry does. Sweet, gone a little insane, but that's fine. Open your heart. Look down and see your heart beating. Divination complete. Right, first off, let's take their money. Unlock. Wait, deadbeats, where's my cash? <laughs> Give us my money, damn it. Or give me lots of free stuff. Sulfur, hosta flax, or four leaf clovers. Nice. Or ability refining into rank two items is increased. Demo version can't affect alchemy results. Damn you. In time, in time we will gain something. I see little leaf busy in the room. The seriousness of the look makes makes me not makes me cannot help but look more. Makes I <laughs> cool. In that case, Little Leaf has been accompanying me to run the hotel these days without rest. She will still be tired, right? I'll come after a, come after a while to check the acceptance. Oh, Little Leaf, take a break. Rest means going into dormancy. How long do does Master want me to dormancy? Wants me to remain dormant. For an average person, seven to eight hours, right? Okay, I'll go into dormancy for seven hours. You don't want to dormancy right there, do you? <laughs> Master, please don't worry. I'll wake up as soon as you call me. I mean, here? This side of the lobby? She doesn't want to dip herself back into that incubator, does she? Would you like to go into your own room to dormancy? <laughs> I think the fact that they put it in quotation marks makes it worse. My own room? Well, 
How did you live when the professor was still here? The professor? There is no similar information in my memory bank. I didn't have a room of my own during the professor's residency. Do you remember which side it was on? Let's go and organize it as your own personal room later. What do you mean on what side it was on? She said she didn't. Is that an order? It's an invitation, my dear. Invitation? So I can put the incubator in the room? Yeah? If you want to. Thank you very much. Can I make one more request? What request? Today when I was cleaning up, I found some... stale bunny dolls. Stale? Can I bring them into the room? Do you mean old? Little Leaf likes bunnies? Of course you can. As a good boss who is considerate of his employees, I can't leave employees without a place to rest. The staff rooms have their own functions and work only unlocks the room for that employee. Let's clean out her room with Little Leaf. Task breathing. Little Leaf becomes a full-fledged staff. A proper staff room will enhance the happiness of the staff. Little Leaf plus 50 gold coins. We have to give them... Oh god, we're doing divination again? Unlock the staff room and you can, like dating, <laughs> requires 1 AP to increase the like with the corresponding character. It's a dating sim! I didn't know that! I feel lied to. I thought this was like a, I thought this was a hotel manager. Like, don't get me wrong, cutesy chibi stuff, but go for it. We're gonna get a whole load of staff. Requires one AP to restore the clean of the hotel. The amount of clean restored. <laughs> Quantity of clean. I will take two cleans. Precisely two, not three, not one. And like Little Leaf, so if you want to keep the hotel clean, dating with Little Leaf more often. <laughs> What, we clean up on a date? Ah, don't worry about divination, we're good. We need to unlock, which one, do, this one? Secret room, upgrades consumption. Secret room. Hao Lao Ling's room, who the hell's that? Little Leaf's room, right, apparently we're gonna get someone called Hao Lao Ling. Like, howling. I bet they're like a wolf. They'll be a werewolf. 2,000 wood, 5. Clean function is unlocked. Little Leaf is cleaning carefully. Daily clean increases by 3 points. Oh, now that is cool. So if we keep Little Leaf happy, not only do you get like the dating sim option, but you're also gaining increased cleanliness for the hotel. I wonder what Hao Lao brings. Because if they're connected to the restaurant, does that mean we get better and better food? Right, let's jump back up to second floor. Really, what you should be doing is using your AP effectively, but, um, but lazy. <laughs> We're gonna... All rooms on this floor are completed. Smashed it. Seems a bit empty. Dude, it's full. We're earning good cash. Chill. Shouldn't we add some furniture or something? Can I decorate the room with bunny dolls? Little Leaf's eyes are staring at me unblinkingly, and this is the look called expectation, right? Yes. Thank you. You see the joints? Oh, need the longer sleeves. So that's it for today. It's almost zero o'clock. I mean midnight? I have to take care of my problems. Who the hell says zero o'clock? Is that a thing? Master, is it time to become a cat? Hey up. <laughs> Was that a request or a suggestion? <laughs> Every midnight, Master will be... become a cat? It seems like this. Master, I offer this advice in... I offer this advice. Rest in Little Leaf's room. Well, that escalated quickly. Why? It's cold and dangerous outside. A warm indoor environment would be more comfortable for a cat. Hmm... Can you stay here? It's cool. For a cat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Meow. Suddenly I feel the room is so big. Master, can I hold you? <laughs> Am I gonna have to blur stuff out in a minute? Yes. 
Thank you so much. Why do you always have to say thank you? Because I feel embarrassed to always bother Master. So soft and warm. So sleepy. And unfortunately, that will be the end for today. Thank you very much for joining us on what is a very strange game, but it is definitely building up to something. Beside the weird dating aspect, I kind of want to know what happens when we reach that carnival at the end of the year or month, depending on the translation. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, the translation definitely needs to be sorted out, particularly if you're going to rely this heavily on a visual novel style, because it is not clear what is going on all the time. At the same time, we're clearly dealing with the other world. We're dealing with, well, things you're not really supposed to understand. So, you kind of gets away with that one. But that'll have to do for now. Thank you very much for tuning in, and until next time, as always, peace out.